Hadoop vs. MongoDB Presented by Zero2ProTraining.com In this video, we will talk about when to use Hadoop and when to use MongoDB. Relational databases are enough to handle small or medium-sized data. However, data is growing too fast. It is doubling in size every 18th month. And hence the term, big data. Relational databases are not enough to handle the big data. Mainly for two reasons. The size of big data is beyond what relational databases could handle. Also, the big could contain both unstructured data and structured data. Relational databases cannot handle unstructured data. New breed of systems have evolved that could deal with large data sets, both structured and unstructured. Hadoop, Hive, and HBase are the popular platforms. Also the term NoSQL has been the horizon since few years. Similar to relational databases, NoSQL databases provide mechanism to store and retrieve data. However, it lets you store data in looser consistency model to accommodate unstructured data. For example, one record could have five fields, while the other could have seven. NoSQL provides horizontal scaling, higher availability, and faster access. Popular NoSQL databases are MongoDB and Solar. Now let's talk about Hadoop versus MongoDB. How the two are compared. MapReduce was the technique used by Google to handle analytics on data stored on multiple servers. Hadoop is the open source implementation of MapReduce technology. Hadoop is used to process data for analytical purpose. It is not meant to be used for real-time processing. Processing time is measured in minutes or hours. MongoDB is designed for real-time processing. MongoDB can store massive amount of data as well. However, data processing at a time is performed on a small subset of data. Processing time is measured in milliseconds. In relational database world, you can compare Hadoop to online analytical processing system and MongoDB to online transactions processing system. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.